Good day to all of you listening in and this is Tharun Pereira with part 2 of Why Be a Hotelier. Uh, the first part of Why Be a Hotelier was uh, presented at the Seven Deep Toast Masters Club and uh, that was way back when I was in hotel school and even before I started uh, a career as a professional hotelier. But today as I finished my 2 years uh, at the Kingsbury and counting my last 10 days of work Uh, I thought of uh, making another video uh, that is the part 2 of why be a hotelier and today I am at the King's Party Hotels unique restaurant the Tenku restaurant uh, where we serve Japanese cuisine and the view from here is phenomenal where you see all the way to Gaul I would say if you have the specs you will uh, have you had these specs you will see all the way to Gaul and it's a nice view of the twin towers and the BOC tower uh, and i have 10 points that i would want to share with you and here it goes uh, point number 1 is on excitement the excitement i had on the 7th of february 2 years back when i wanted to join the kingsbury hotel has not left me uh the excitement is still with me as i want to resign uh, for a better future and i'm sure that i one day i will be back with uh, this uh, team the hailis lesher but uh, what the point i want to make is that uh, as a hotelier this excitement should be with you daily and when you wake up you should be able to jump out of bed thinking i'm going to make this day special i'm going to be at the breakfast today 6 am i'm going to be at breakfast or this banquet event is going to be 500 packs 1000 packs i'm going to make it phenomenal i want to make someone's day special today and this is how i'm going to make it so this excitement is very important in the life of an hotelier and for the past two years i've not uh, gone down on it or drained out of excitement at all it had been always regenerating and uh, talking of the two years that i had uh, with kingsbury uh, before uh, my time at kingsbury i was with the cinnamon lakeside uh, which is uh, managed by the john hills holdings at uh, during my time there at cinnamon i was able to uh, we were in the starting or the initial uh, team that uh, started the bar called colomba or chain 7 degrees uh, bar into colomba uh, there we have a technical term that i want to share is called the critical part it's a file that we make with all the details minute detail of how the ambiance should look like how the uniform should look like how the clock crockery and the cutlery should look like and we planned everything in detail so why i talk about colomba is because two years back i did the critical path for colomba and uh, recently i did the critical path for the new yushuan or the nyc we call it the new yushuan and the two documents when i compare it's like so different because i have looked into even more minor details a broader scope and i have learned a lot thanks to kingsbury so that's point number 1 and point number 2 is on treat your food fair treat your food fair is it street food fair no it's not anything to do with street food uh, it's treating your food fairly or enjoying what is on your plate as an uh, employee of any hotel most hotels will give you your meal uh, where some might complain this is too oily uh, my food is too spicy there's no salt or there's more salt uh, there's so much if you want to complain but uh, the an experience that i had uh, when i was in austria when i had uh, was awarded with the scholarship uh, of uh, the development board of austria we had 17 different nationalities from africa to south america southeast asia all these 17 uh, countries with 30 plus students and three seats for the sri lankans and i found my fellow two sri lankans always grumbling about the european food and missing the spice i never missed my chili my cinnamon uh, or my ceylon tea i always wanted to enjoy what they have for me the fruits the different fruits to the bakery items uh, the the sweetness of the jam uh, the fruity teas they had 
uh, fruit infused teas i mean and um, yeah, that's how you should treat food uh, by the simple uh, expression of treating food right you become a good hotelier that's point number 1 and leading to point number 2 Uh, or three is a being a leader don't be a boss be a leader who is a leader by my definition a leader is someone who has followers anyone who follows you is a follower and if you have followers you are a leader so from my faith of being a catholic from what i've learned from the life of jesus who is a shepherd jesus is a shepherd we call him the good shepherd we call him who is a good shepherd uh normally in the sri lankan culture we see cattle being flocked and you do cattling uh, while the cattle is in front of you you take a broomstick or any other stick and you cattle him but a shepherd is a person who leads the flock he is in front of the flock and others look at him or her and um, follows and uh, you christians might have seen this image uh, others might have not that is uh, jesus is carrying a small sheep on his head, uh, shoulders that is the lost sheep we have to always as hoteliers look into the lost sheep why is this important and how is this important is because when you go after the lost sheep you had forego the whole uh, flock where you have the gems or the diamonds you have to forego to look for this uh, lost sheep you let the flock away in danger there might be people wanting to attack other farmers fox might want to hunt your uh, flock but you go after the lost sheep and once you find the lost sheep you bring it back to the flock and the flock is full and the flock is not full it is complete Uh, sorry the air conditioning is off we don't we save our costs so uh moving on the lost sheep there are so many trainees in this industry there are so many waiters stewards in this industry who are lost sheep we are we as hospitality leaders should always care for them go behind them and look after them uh moving to the next point is how we break the rust sometimes you have to be strong in your words sometimes you have to be strict in your ways where you break the rust but you never break them break the person you don't break the person you make the person uh, you don't chase him after to kill him you don't plan his death you don't dream about tomorrow okay or the next uh salary increment okay i'll take care of this bugger no 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 that's not the way you have to make them you have to break the rust in the right way uh teaching people the right thing money recognition and titles money recognition and titles will follow you sometimes you have to work extra hours sometimes you have to do jobs that are not entitled but all that you work for will be paid for example you today you get a salary of 10000 rupees but you work extra hours you do extra work worth 20000 rupees and you work like this for 3 months on the fourth month or even before you will be given the increment you will be rewarded one way or the other for all the effort and all that you have done prior that is what i believe in that comes with time new joiners and new waiters if you as a hotel leader or a leader in the hospital industry doesn't see the growth in a person or doesn't work towards the growth of the person you're a failure if your waiter or the trainee on the next year is still a trainee and still a waiter you are a failure but here in the i don't want to boast but this is my experience at the hell is uh, leisure 
or at the Kingsbury, we have so many good leaders uh, that I really look up to, starting with, I don't want to mention, but I have to mention Mr. Rohan Khan, Mr. Tavis Kasata, my direct report into Mr. Denver Stainwall. These people molded me. These people are leaders that we follow and people follow us for following them. Um, moving on, the taboo of joining the hospitality industry. Just like a taboo that you have towards getting a tattoo, where people who have never had an experience of having a tattoo in their life would say to you, uh, Puta, this is not the way to do it. Uh, why too big? Uh, why too small? I, or why uh, get so much ink in your blood system where you won't be able to even donate blood in the future? Uh, this is going to be so painful for you. This is uh, very. Uh, this is against our rules and regulations. But just as a tattoo being a taboo in our society, uh, being a hotelier is a taboo. I would say a lot of parents, elders, or even your subordinates, your siblings would say, this is not the job for you. You will have to work long hours. Yes, you have to work for long hours. This is not a job for a lady. This is not a job for a kind heart. No, 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 no. These are all taboo uh, that we have, carry in our society. My last point is that when you become a hotelier, when you start at hotel school or as a trainee in a hotel, the way you talk, the way you walk, and not only the way that you walk and talk, the way you speak will change, will develop. Because being a hotelier is no career path. It is a way of life. <laughs>